one. Jeremy, you're a great source of inspiration to me. Mm. Because I've got to witness in the past, and in this speech, I've heard it at least three times, if not four. I love how you will start out with an idea and continue to rework it with the help of everyone. To me, it's the model of what we should do at Toastmasters, and I'm trying to follow that. For today. First, I was playing with what does the title mean? Decline to ignore. And sometimes I was wondering, is that a good title? But in the end, I come up with that's a fantastic title because it's the message for the speech. Do not ignore. Decline to ignore. First, I'm thinking, don't just sort of decline, okay, I'm declining, and then I'm ignoring. Decline to ignore is the message. Don't ignore it. I'm going through some of the notes from the book. Did you phrase things in terms of the audience's self-interest. Well, there was one time I thought you could change the words. Instead of saying, people don't ignore me, so what are we left with for the rest of our lives if we remember it at all? We remember, well, I have to listen to Jeremy. <laughs> it would be better if you left us with the thought, I believe, it would be better if you left me with the thought, don't ignore your friends. People don't ignore your friends. Your friends attempt to connect with you on the phone don't ignore them. That's the message I'd like to remember for the rest of my life. Not that well, Jeremy had a tough time. So that's the gift to us. And we get the message, don't ignore your friends. I know from a previous speech, because it's just obvious, you've got some big muscles. So sometimes when you move and you drop your arms, your jacket doesn't drop down and cover your sleeve. If one does and one doesn't, it look on a little funny. So it might be nice you know, just to pull that down. When you, when you do a physical move and get stuck, just pull it down. Or quit exercising so much. <laughs> 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 or a jacket that fits better. <laughs> you know, I have that problem too. <laughs> I, was, I was told if you can't button it, don't wear it. Yeah. What they're really saying is lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that the, the times when you were speaking about something sad, you could have paused a little longer, just a little longer, and maybe had it more in your voice. Contemplate, have a tear in your eye, something like that. When, for instance, you get a... I'm a little confused about the stories a little bit. If your best friend called you three times, why did you never call him back? I mean, it's okay to ignore it. You've got this good show about Antarctic housewives. Why would you want to answer? But when the show's over, why didn't you call back? That's just an issue that I'm wondering how to resolve. And that your dad left a message that he had quite an issue on the recording. I think you see your dad a lot. And I think that if you got it on a recording or you would have called him back, that it wouldn't have been as life changing as you didn't get to toast your friend. Because you, you do talk to your dad a lot. So that was just an issue. I'm cursed with being an analyst. <laughs> so I just try and put things together. So I think you should mention the callback option. Like, do not ignore your friends. Mention the callback option. You don't have to answer them. Because you got to run your life, but you can call them back. So that's when you're declining to ignore. You might ignore it at the moment, but you can call them back. The Antarctica thing was funny. I mean, is there even a show like that? <laughs> and that's basically what I have to say for this. this I think it's getting gotten better each time. It's a great speech now, and I think you can do well with it. Thank you. Thank you.